Hi there. Welcome to our second video on getting started with DiffBot's Excel add-in. In this video, we'll work through techniques for news monitoring that can be performed directly within Excel. DiffBot's Excel add-in allows you to pull article entities directly from the world's largest knowledge graph and into Excel. DiffBot's knowledge graph crawls virtually the entire public web every several days. Article texts and tags are some of DiffBot's strongest data points and can be used for news monitoring, market intelligence, competitive intelligence, and public relations. To begin your news monitoring journey in Excel, open the DiffBot Excel add-in from the right side of the Home tab in the toolbar. Within the Excel add-in, Enhance is used when you have a set of known organizations or people entities you want to enrich profiles of from the knowledge graph. Search, on the other hand, lets you return all knowledge graph entities of a given type that meet your input parameters. And it's useful when you don't necessarily know what you'll discover online, as is often the case in news monitoring. To get started, click Search, then Create Query. Next you'll, next, you'll select the type of entity you're interested in returning, in our case, Articles. You don't need to specify every field within the Visual Query Builder. In fact, not specifying any fields will simply return all articles within the Knowledge Graph, limited by the number of entities you want returned. Working our way down the Visual Query Editor, let's try out a sample query. First, tags. You can think of tags like topics or references to individual entities. Our AI attaches tags to articles that are about a given topic. If you're looking at an article about parking tickets in San Francisco, for example, tags could include San Francisco, parking tickets, parking, and police. If you aren't sure which tags to try out, simply type one and hit enter. The number of articles tagged within the knowledge graph will update at the bottom of the modal. This can be used to verify you're entering a tag that's meaningful. For exa example, the tag COVID-19 returns over 2.5 million article entities. Next comes keywords. These are meant to specify articles you want returned based on whether a word or phrase is present inside of them. In this case, we're looking at keywords in the title of the article or text anywhere in the article. Let's specify articles tagged COVID-19 with the word vaccine in their titles. Dipbot crawls the web in many languages, distilling multilingual sources into the same entities. Let's specify English for this initial crawl. Next comes sentiment. Sentiment scores range between negative one, very negative, and one, very positive. Let's look for positive COVID-19 articles by specif specifying a minimum sentiment score of 0.5. Next, specify a date. As this is an evolving story, let's look at the last week of global news coverage. Below, the website, Websites field lets you specify specific locations you want to find your news on. Note that you can type, copy and paste, or specify a range within your spreadsheet. If you have an existing sheet with digital properties you'd, you would like to monitor, you can easily drag across these locations, or use the results of a past article query to specify domains of interest. Finally, you can choose how your articles are sorted. Relevance takes into account to what degree articles match the criteria you've selected, more or less. Additional options include sorting by date and when they were last crawled, if you're looking at articles that might have been updated many times. This field can be important when your query returns more results than you want exported to your spreadsheet. Some article queries can return millions of articles, and sorting can ensure that only those that are the most relevant to your request are returned. For individuals who have experience with DiffBot's Knowledge Graph and no DiffBot query language, note that you can enter in more advanced queries within the Advanced tab. Once you're satisfied with your article query, hit Done, and then Next. This should take you to the Output tab. DiffBot's Knowledge Graph contains a great deal of information about most articles. In this section, you can specify what portions of each article entity you want returned. Perhaps you want authors, or dates, just the site published to, or quotes. For the sake of this demonstration, we'll return all fields, but in practice, you may only want a portion of this news monitoring data. Hit Execute to run your news monitoring query and watch the global news events roll in.